Pimpleweed Park. Let's start up a new game. I, I don't actually know much about this game. So I'm gonna go casual. Because I'm not very good at point and click anyway. Okay. This is free on Epic Games right now. At time of stream. So you can go pick that up if you want. So I have seen this game before, and I've seen a walkthrough, but I really don't remember because it was years ago. Years ago, it was crazy. Not a lot of people here. Okay then. Don't know what to say. Though. One, the meeting. a homeless guy. I mean, I don't really know what else to say. I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. Can I... Can I turn on... What's it called? I'll turn on subtitles soon. Um. I am supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Do you have any whiskey? Are you sure you have not seen anyone? <laughs> I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruined my life. What? Wake up, sir. Yeah, that's not gonna help. Wake up, sir. It's not what I clicked. I have to go. Sleep well. Boris, I'm glad you decided this is the right solution to our problem. There are eyes everywhere, so follow these steps precisely. For your own protection, leave your ID in your hotel room. Got it. Go to the river down by the Trestle Trail Bridge. Turn off the light above the sign and meet him in the underground sewers. I wonder how I can turn off the light to let them know I'm here. Must be something around here that can help. Pick up the rock. I wonder if I can use this rock to put use out the, the rock light. on the light. Step three of the note. Now for step four. Let me said pool over here. Oh God! What was that? I died. I, I died. Okay then. None of us were prepared for what we'd find that night. Or how much it would change us all. Part 2. The body. 
I thought a part would be longer than that. But we'll see. I, I don't remember how many parts are in this game. So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes. Sit back and learn. And I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. Body starting to pixelate. Hopefully it's loud this enough. This is going to be a long night. Can I... Settings, sound, text and speech maybe. Display text, there we go. But English back. Thank you and back. Okay, it wants me to It's an instant camera, but there's no film in it. It's a sample package of Polaroid film. It only can Thanks. Okay, this is use film and camera. It's an instant camera. Use only camera have one picture left on corpse. Smile. Okay, I got a picture of the corpse. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card. Possibly a key card from a hotel. Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. What if I go over here? What if I want to go in the sewer? Freshly caught. We should go find the sheriff. Okay, let's go find the sheriff. What do you want? No book. Yeah, I already got it. So now the there should be subtitles or something or like that. The homeless guy's gone, which is strange. Find the sheriff. Sheriff sure, around these parts. Signals are very strong tonight. What? What signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that, but what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night. Deserted road. Me in a giant pigeon costume? It was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. You almost ran over a federal agent. That is a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. 
this is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death, yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. Okay. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Why is it whenever a dead body is found, suspicion always falls to the person dressed as a giant bird? It's in the cadet training manual. We don't know anything about a dead body, but the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. Okay, why are you dressed why like a giant Why are you dressed pigeon? like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there! Just... Why brothers if you're sisters? Dad was expecting to have sons, and he was too cheap to have the van repainted, so we're just rolling with it till he's dead. Oh, scene. Shut up, oh. Emily. Nice chatting with you. You need to find the sheriff. Nice chatting with you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you, too. Click, click, click. Click, click, click. No need. The perps are outside. Okay. Sing. Dead ringer for the body. Ho. Oh. Dead ringer for the body. Dead ringer for the body. Ho. Oh. oh, cemetery. I kind of want to go to the cemetery. Why not? We should go find the sheriff. Or not. Uh. Someone's recording me, apparently. Wait up, eager beaver. It's dark, but I can see there's nothing in there. Wheelie's Watch and Violin Repair Shop. Thimbleweed County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. We repair watches and violins for the rich or famous. Howdy! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't, I don't trust remember him. calling the Federinos. Eh, that's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> I'm Agent Reyes, Reyes. And this is my partner, Agent Ray. Nice to meet you, Agent Arenos. Looks like you heard about our little murder Reno out by the bridge, huh? There is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is starting to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at 8. I hope he's talking about on TV. No, I hope he's talking about real life. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Reno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slickerinos do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. What's that supposed to mean? That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people arenos? Yes. Let's head to the coroner. Oh. That's Howdy him. Who? I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. Welcome to the future who? Mm. Oh, these are the latest in crime-fighting computers made by Pillowtronics, Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, uh, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. I don't like these feet <laughs> taking out like, a fourth of the screen. I love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We never We're interested ourselves. in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> Yes, happy to explain. Uh, so happy to explain who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Aren't you, Aren't the, you sheriff? the sheriff? Of Reno? Oh my, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes. But we're as different as peas of who's in a pot of who. Plus, the sheriff has that annoying Areno. He adds everything. 
You'll never hear me doing that, who? Sure, whatever. That bookcase looks suspicious. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Okay. What's the Tell finger? us about the Fingertron 3000. Right a Reno, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match who. Okay, tell us about the Facetron. Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Dorg, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Areno? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You who city folk who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. Well, I have one of those. Did you use these computers to investigate the Pillow Factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it. Four? Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? Not these computers. Oh, the state of the art of who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Isn't there a conflict of interest with Pillowtronics and the fire? Whoa, now! Pillowtronics and its founder, Chuck, are above reproach. Chuck built this town and was a computer and pillow genius. Are the feds uh, looking into this case? It was solved uh, 20 years ago. 20 years. No, Jesus. he's just curious. He's a pillow factory fire buff. He's got a CompuServe chat room and everything. Okay, I think we've heard enough. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> uh, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do with who. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. Okay. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. That was two years ago. I mean, I don't think that dates the video, I hate but... this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. I don't like this bookcase. I can't open that. Lots of medical books there. I can't pull that. I can't push that. Lots of medical books there. Okay, let's um look at all these things. Maybe they should call it Vampiretron. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals plus a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape. The Fingertron 3000 will check if they match and print out a report. Insert two photos of an individual and the face Tron 3000 will verify a positive match and print out a report. Fully voice activated. Stop reading and start talking. Okay, let's uh, let's get out of here. I don't feel like talking. Though. I'll go and see the sheriff. Sheriff. Hello again, Agent Arenos. Can I take this? Hopefully, donuts? the coroner filled I've in on our state yet. of the art Areno computers. All right, let's see. Um... You're also the coroner, right? You're also the coroner, right? Oh my no! <laughs> no 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 no, Arino. Yeah, people say there is some the same resemblance same around the eyes, but we're as different as peas Arenos in a pot Arino. Plus, the coroner has that annoying ah who he adds to everything. <laughs> You'll never hear me doing that, Arino. Okay then. Computing That's power. some very serious computing power you've got there. Yes, sir, Reno. It's all state of the art computer Renos from Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Alright. Said something about the arrest you, tron. I mean, the coroner said something about the arrest tron? Yes, the arrest tron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Reno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction of Reno. Every detail of Reno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving on. 
Right. Uh, sorry, Arino. I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy Arino you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this, and it issues a 100% Arino valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer Arino. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Uh, who's this Chuck? Who is this Chuck we keep hearing about? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, mm. Reno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably circus. that stupid clown Reno again. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. I want to go to the... Just don't mess anything up. What's it called? I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. I want to go to the hotel. I can't push that. I don't want to pick that up. It's a police radio. Looks like it's on. All right. I'm going to head to the oh, pigeon burgers out here. Um, that's A Street. Looks like I can't go up there right now. The bank. Might as well check out the bank real quick. Uh, what's the sign say? The doors are locked. It says... We're out at the old abandoned Philo factory. Back soon. Safely first savings manager, Mr. El Paulo. El Paulo. Let's walk to the alley. <gasps> Whoa, the same dude. Did he kill me? Oopsies. Oh. Sorry, but we're out to dinner. Call back next week. Okay, 911's out to dinner. Um, I guess I should probably go check on myself. Ah, uh, there's a wrench there. I might steal that. Anyway, let's um go back here into the alley, walk to a trash can. Pretty okay. disgusting. Nothing? It's the back door to the diner. What? Well, I've got to go find myself. Hello, Reno. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is a. Uh... Uh, quite annoying. No, sir. Yes, sir. They have been taken care of. Oh, God. Yes, sir. Permanently. Oh, yes, sir. Violently. No, sir. I'm pretty sure yes, this would be a completely different yes, wrestling was conversation quite with context. Goodbye, sir. If I could hear the phone, he could not be bad. Let's see. Ooh. Movie rent. What's movie Tron Beta Rank? Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? I'd play if it were a sure thing. Talk to this. Hi there. I'm Quickie Pal Leonard. How can I help you? I'm Special Agent Ray. Uh, I'm not holding if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> um. These flickering lights are going to drive me insane. <laughs> yeah, it's a trip, isn't it? Oh, they're even better if you get a little toked up and, uh, <laughs> I mean, 
Yes, officer. I'll get those fixed right away. What's your deal? So, what's your deal, Leonard? Dude, how do you know my name? Are you, like, telepathic or something? No, you just told me your name, and it's also on your name tag. Uh, do you do like, you your, like job? your job here at the Quickie Pal? Heck yeah! I got a freaking sweet deal here with free coffee and minimum wage. That is Plus, a great deal. I don't get many customers on the late shift, so I get plenty of time to think. That's also true. As someone who's never worked, <laughs> that's true. You said you get a lot of time to think. I'm like an abstract thinker, way ahead of the curve, man. My mom says I should be more like my cousin Bernard, who got a scholarship to MIT. Mm. But why be like that dweeb when I could be like Chuck Edmund? Didn't like, okay, yeah, tell me about Tell Chuck. me about Chuck. He's my freaking hero, man. Dude never went to college, just started building his machines when he was a kid. Mm. That guy made this town rich just by doing what he loved. That's crazy. Um, what do you think? I'm oh. going to look around your store. Let's um, let's just leave. Yeah. Looks pretty dark down there. I can't. I can't open that. I want to find a person. Whoa there, little agent of Reno. You can't just go bumbling around the county without a map. map. It's too easy to get lost. There is a killer Reno on the loose. Okay. A map? Seriously? Oh yes, and not just any map. But an official map. And where would I find this? And where this? would I find this official map? Well, the county is plumberino out of them. I guess this really messes up your investigation. I'm sure the head office will understand hmm. the Reno. Shall I mark the case as unsolved? Why are you trying to do this? Not a chance. The feds never give up. Or should I say, the Federinos never give up. So I need a map. I see. Now you're mocking me. I am a federal agent. I can take care of myself. And a darn fine agent, I'm sure of. But we have laws around here, and what kind of law is that? To have an official map. Right, yeah, I'll go you're find right. a map. I'll head back to town and find a map. You have to admit, it's a nice view of Reno up here. Okay, let's head out. Go find a map. I don't have money to buy one, so I doubt it's going to be in the... I look good. Looks like a really big tube. Lots of super absorbent. That's a huge toilet. Seems out of scale. No way am I gonna look in there. Alright, let's head out of here. Can I... Let's go up B Street. Filled to the brim with smelly trash. These aren't cakes. Hey there, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Alrighty now. I can't quite put my finger on it, but this place stinks of false advertising. Sorry about that, hon. This used to be Ricky's cakes, but now we sell vacuum tubes. What are vacuum tubes? What an exciting life you lead. Anyway, I'm Special Agent Ray. I have some questions for you. Oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Ricky Lee, and I'm the proprietor of this little store. What can I do for you, hon? 
Since you don't sell cakes anymore, what's your store called now? Not really sure. I've been bouncing a few ideas around since the pivot, and I don't suppose you have any suggestions. YouTube. Not YouTube. Because that's a trash place. And that's why I'm on Twitch. Even though we do post to YouTube. And our video is going to get messed with because I said something bad about YouTube. Yay! Don't you guys love YouTube? Two for Rubes. For Rubes. Oh, that's a great name. I'm so lucky you wandered in today. The kindness of strangers is amazing. If you get rich, you owe me a cut. Alright, well, do you know anything? Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, yeah. I heard about that. <laughs> it's super sad. Poor guy. Can't imagine anyone from around here doing something so awful. Okay. I Let's need to find a map. Don't leave town. Okay, hon. Just holler if you need me. Ooh. Fun book. Let's see. Who is... I feel like calling someone. The bank. What was his name? It was like Paul. Pablo. Who's the guy from the bank? Let's go take a look. Actually, I could just... Excuse me, ma'am. I'm afraid I don't have any spare change, miss. I'm a federal agent. Show some respect, or I'll have you booked for solicitation. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not a hooker. I'm Lenore Edmund Mulch, of the famed Pillowtronics Edmund family, oh. and I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive on the bus. So I suggest you treat me with a little more respect. All right. I don't like you, I'm gonna leave. So if you aren't turning tricks, what are you doing dressed like that? If you must know, I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive so we can go to the will reading. And FYI, grief is no excuse to look like garbage. Then what's your excuse? Hmm. Coming Tell me about Pillowtronics. Pillowtronics was the brainchild of my uncle, the great entrepreneur and genius inventor Chuck Edmund. The Edmonds made this town great when we opened the Pillow Factory. My family, even my stupid little sister Dolores, might as well be royalty as far as Thimbleweed Park is concerned. Yeah, because that's great in a town with a super small population. Uh, do, do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, sweetie. Yes, yes, yes. So glad someone is finally getting rid of it. But one does hear things, and I do have an inkling of who might be connected to this nasty business. Tell me who you think is connected to the body. Well, I hate to cast aspersions, but I suppose it is for the good of the town. Tell me what you know. Actually... No, I can't do this. The Edmund reputation is at stake. Spill the beans. Spill the beans, trust fund Barbie. Fine, it was my sister Dolores. I she doubt that. She abandoned our family and the business to become a... A hooker, like her sister? No, 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 no. It was far worse. She became... A video game developer. It all started a few years back. That's pretty bad. She only wanted one thing, to be a game designer for that awful game company, Mucus Phlegm. Uncle Chuck wanted something else for her, but no. She was too selfish, only wanted to make stupid adventure games. I've got to get out of this town. Uncle Chuck wants me to program his factory computers, but I just want to design games. I wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Phlegm Games. Now the only thing I have to look forward to is my favorite computer magazine. 
The In fact, I should check the mailbox and God. see if it's arrived yet. The uh, owner or the, the devs of this game are Lucasfilm. It's the math trophy I won when I was 12 and attending a I summer think. program at Thomas Bodeman's School of Mathematics. It's made out of solid. It's a red gel decoder. I should check the mailbox for my computer magazine. Shall decoder. Where is the mailbox? Okay then. Where is the downstairs? Frankly, you idiot. I'm just trying to, you know, help. Is that yelling? Don't gag me. I hope my dad and Uncle Chuck aren't fighting again. And since most of the machinery at the pillow factory is lying fallow, I've come up with this, you know, great plan to repurpose them. We can use them to make, you know, plush toys. Franklin, you idiot! Oh, the company is Pillowtronics, not stupid plush toytronics. We make pillows! What do you think that would do to our credibility, our reputation? Um... Okay, Chuck, you're right, but, um, I was up all night working on the business plan. Maybe uh, you could just, you know, look at it. The dude who no, got killed no, no. It's had a one. Pillow factory. Are you two fighting again? Had a pillow tonic. So sick of this. Your Teddy brothers, bear. take a chill pill. You started the pillow factory together. Won't you ever stop fighting about it? Nothing you need to worry about, Dolores. Uh, right, Franklin, old brother. Ah, yes. You know, your uncle and I were just, uh, you know talking business I have some work to do Dolores can you get my point eight millimeter point tip soldering iron you know uncle Chuck you should use a two millimeter flat tip and you never heat your solder hot enough <laughs> that's my favorite niece I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory I know you'll keep the Edmund pillow dream alive I should check the mailbox for my computer magazine where is said mailbox? Ouch! No pinching! That's my room. My... I'm dumb. It's okay. So that's the library. I should check the mailbox for my computer magazine. I got it. Where is the mailbox? Okay, so this is the kitchen. Let's open the refrigerator. What a mess. Someone could cut themselves on those bottles. Carefully handling broken glass. Where's your trash can? There's nothing inside. There's nothing. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. The fireplace looks very clean. Can't wait to... Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing. You still around, Dolores? But you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Yes, yeah, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not gonna make your Uncle Chuck happy. He'll just have to deal with it. What brings you all the way out here? I have your special magazine here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank, Thank you. you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. I still want to open the mail. Nothing? Okay. Let's, um... Use... The... I don't have time to eat pie right now. Even though it looks great. It's a red gel decoder. I don't want to do that. It's Bite Me World, the best computer magazine ever. Alright, I can go apply. Wow, an ad for a job at Mucus Phlegm Games. Hi, Doug. What are you digging? Alright, Dolores, I'm just digging stuff in the front green. Mostly holes, but then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug, you're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores. 
You look Dig like it. you want a pie. Can I not? Digging. Oh, okay. Digging. Digging. Open the front door, please. Can I open the box? I don't want to open it. All right, let's head up to my room. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 6. I'm dialing the mucus phlegm modem number. It's connecting. It's called dial-up internet. I can't believe my computer's connected to mucus phlegm. Welcome to the new online mucus phlegm job application program. Just fill out your personal information and answer a few simple mucus programming questions. Then print out the application and send it to mucus phlegm. We'll get back to you in exactly five days. What is your name? Thank you. What is your address? I don't know. Um, Wyoming, right? Noted. Next, what's your programming language of choice? The language you are most proficient in. What am I most proficient in? Let's see, C Sharp, Python, Java, I bet. There's no coffee pun on here. All of the above, sure. Very ambitious, we like that. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. Oh, God. Okay. First question. This is an easy one. Next question. Also an easy one. Reference counted. Hmm. A little harder. Ah. Debugging is on a second monitor. Truth. Last question. Ouch. This is going to take some thinking. Let's see. What is it? Got it. Cool. Exclusive ore. Thank you for taking the mucus phlegm programming test. Congratulations. You passed the mucus phlegm programming test. <laughs> Yay! Dang. I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. There it is. Print it. Let's uh, pick up. Hmm, I printed my job application, but the page is blank. Maybe the printer is out of ink. There's a lot of the door. I'll go let him in. Hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores. Here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable by a $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Okay. Back to my vitally important government job. I'd better not open it. Uncle Chuck would know if I read it, but the envelope is ripped. I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. Better be hmm, I printed my job application. I think I'll hmm, I printed my job application. I think it's a red gel decoder. I think it's a red gel decoder. I think I'll just be careful with them. That's good enough for now. Okay, well, let's um, can I just walk over there not using this weird teleportation horse? Give the letter to Uncle Chuck. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? A letter George the Postman just delivered. Oh, I've been expecting this. I'll deal with it later. I'd better not open it. Uncle Chuck would know if I read it, but the envelope is ripped. Nine tails whip. Jesus. All right, let's uh, 
it out. Dial in with modem and call. Okay. Okay, let's uh, let's head back to my room. Let's see if I can figure this out. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives. There, the blank paper is back in the Printron 3000. I don't have time to eat pie right now, even though it looks... It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual... Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. It's still blank. Hmm... I printed my job application, but the page is still blank. Maybe the printer is out of ink. Okay, I need to find ink. There, the blank paper is back in the Printron 3000. I need ink. Oh, my bed. Oh, uh, locked post. Max was the world's first computer-generated TV host. Okay, let's find some ink. I don't want to use it with that. I don't want to use it with that. This is the kitchen, right? Yeah. Hot sauce. Not hot sauce. Hot. I'm just batteries. Cheese. Lettuce. Open the microwave. I don't feel like the taste for non-trained bark and print. That hit the spot. Ugh, I'm definitely not hungry for some. I'm not going to drink from something without reading the label. Flask of Extreme Chili Sauce by Brian A. Okay, I breathe fire. Wow. We all know in games, when you breathe fire, you can use it. I don't have time to eat pie right now, even though it looks- I don't want to whip anything with this. Really? Okay. Let's look at- The fireplace looks very Let's clean. Let's go pick up some wood. It's very dry firewood. I don't need any firewood. Why not? Flask of- Flask of Extreme Chili Sauce by Brian A- Dickin! Digging. That should have caught on fire. Still impressive. Okay, what else do we got? Let's let's check out the library. Maybe there's something in there. This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 library filing lookup system. It uses the spewy decimal system to catalog books. Why not plush toys? Dad's not a big fan of thimbleberries. Not after that time he broke out in huge welts. I liked your idea for the pillow factory. Chuck thought it was a bad idea, and he's right. That's he's never true. even read it. Uh. Uncle Chuck never should have talked to you like that. He's right. My idea was worthless. I'm worthless. Dad, I don't like to see you like this. You need more confidence. And stop letting Uncle Chuck push you around. Thanks, Dolores. You're a great daughter. But Chuck knows what is best for the factory. Bye. Bye, Dad. I love you. Goodbye, Dolores. Let's use the staircase. There's a sign there. Better read. It says, out of order. Okay, then. I know I have a good idea. I don't know what, where the ink would be. Like, I know how to... Hmm. Ah, 
Ha. Huh. What if I it's turned off. use Math Trophy with I don't the want sink. to use it with that. No. What else do I have? Old batteries. I don't feel like the taste for no Ugh. I'm definitely not hungry for soggy lip. The application is all filled out. Just have to send it in. How do I get ink? I feel like it's something to do with this. I don't want to use it with that. I don't want to use it with that. I don't want to use it with that. I think I'll just be careful with them. That's good enough. I don't want to use it with that. Is it like a trash can? I feel like I have to do something with the fireplace, but I'm not sure what. Is there anyone I can talk to? Let's talk to Doug. Hi, Doug. What are you digging? Is he asking right, the same, Dolores, same I'm just thing? digging stuff in the front green. Mostly holes, but then I buries them again all the entirety. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta Dolores! I don't think I leave. I can't leave the mansion mansion yet. I can't leave the mansion mansion yet. Diggin! It's very dry firewood. I can't pull that. That doesn't seem to close. Maybe there's something in my in truck's room that I haven't seen yet. Maybe there may be something in here. Oh, Dolores, 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 oh, Dolores, Dolores, Dolores. He's a work of art. I'm looking forward to playing chess with him. It's Uncle Chuck's custom-built multi-band oscilloscope. Hello, my favorite niece. Uh. Uncle Chuck, do you have any new printer ribbons? You know I don't buy new ribbons. I just re-ink them myself. Printer ink is a scam. I didn't get rich by wasting money. Of course. Thanks, Uncle Chuck. Hello, my favorite niece. How do I re ink it? Thanks for chatting, Uncle Chuck. Why don't you practice oh, your ASCII conversion? Sorry. All my trons rely on it. Okay, Uncle Chuck. Let's give the letter to my dad. It's like, er, uh, let's print the thing first. That should do it. The ribbon is now fully inked. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Here we go. I always like to watch this part. Okay, let's open the door. Let's go show this thing to my dad. How about that? Sick of pillows. I better hold on to this. Why not? I better hold on to this. Okay, fine. Diggin! How 
exciting. I hope I get the job. What? Hiya, Dolores. I have a letter for you. Oh. Good luck. See ya. Digging? Dig. It's a letter from Mucus Phlegm. Did I get the job? I think I want to open this in my room, just in case it's really bad news. Now that I'm in my room, I'm still so scared to open it. I like to keep my bed neat. Never know who might walk into my room. Okay, but if it's a no, that means I'm stuck in Thimbleweed Park and have to take over the pillow factory. Okay, but if it's a yes, what will become of Dad? Stuck. Okay, but. Okay, okay, I'm opening it. Yes! It's a job offer from Mucus Phlegm to be a game programmer. I'm so excited! Can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck. Oh He'll be so proud. But first. Nah, let's not tell Uncle Chuck. How about that? What if we tell. Okay, let's tell my dad first. Sorry, Dolores had to witness that. I got a job offer from Mucus Phlegm. That's not going to make your Uncle Chuck happy. He really wants you to take over the pillow factory. Once he sees what I'm capable of, he'll be happy for me. I... I don't know, Dolores. Okay, bye. Bye, Dad. I love you. Goodbye, Same. Dolores. I give this thing to him. I better hold on to this. Sick of pillows. Nothing left to open. I tossed the envelope. Uncle Chuck! Uncle Chuck! Great news! Yes, Dolores, what is it? My oh, dear God. future leader of Pillotronics? I, uh... Here, read this. <sighs> You're what? You're giving up the opportunity to run Pillotronics to be, uh... To be a game programmer? Yes, that's what I've always wanted to do. Not run Pillowtronics. I'm leaving on the first bus out of Thimbleweed Park. Then, Dolores, you are out of my will. You're giving up over $10 million. That's $20 million in 2017 dollars. Just to pick an arbitrary date in the future, you are dead to me. Dolores broke Uncle Chuck's heart and started programming those murder simulators. Right. Real life murder is the next logical murder step for her, sweetie. Stop her before she schemes her way into sweet Uncle Chuck's inheritance. Sure, we'll get right on that. I'm sure you have cats to feed, sweetie. Ciao. That Ransom the Clown isn't very popular around here. It says he eats tuna there's no path beyond that there's no path beyond this point i can't open that if i look at you mean smell i've already done that no one is in there the doors are the doors are locked and nobody's inside Welcome to the S&D Diner. Hey, just so you know, that article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. So, what can I do for you, honey? I'm a federal agent. 
Know anything about the dead body? Not too much, just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble, especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. Don't screw with the feds. Tell us what you know. Okay, honey. But you didn't hear this from me. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. That's pretty scary. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Oh, God. No. No, another flashback. Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brother Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clown nose, and find my joke book. Uh, let's save game. Uh, and I think... God. I think I'm gonna take a little, little break. Ransom. Oh, God, come I'm on. I caught you before you went on stage. Autographs are a hundred bucks. Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. I don't want your autograph. Okay, 50 then. I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen. And your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. Also, we have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did you get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. Good. Toddlers start out as. It's not my fault they end up that way. Okay, fine. 25 bucks. I should have been a dentist. You! Okay, let's go back into my trailer. And, um, since we've saved, that's enough for today. I actually. I might continue to stream on later today. But thank you for watching.